Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl, Amanda, and I am officially back. So I figured why not take advantage of being stuck at home and everybody is locked down. So I'm gonna make the best of it. Like literally every day I've been having a spa day, which is fabulous. So I thought why not start making some content for you guys and yeah, so why don't we just hang out and chat for a little while because a lot has been going on. We all know that, of course. I definitely want to say be easy on yourselves during this time. I know it can be very, very stressful. Like we're quarantined to stay home, stay away from people, social distancing. It's a lot. <laughs> don't stress the small things. Take a second. Anytime you feel yourself getting a little bit too crazy or deep diving into the negativity, be grateful for everything that you do have in this moment right now. Reach out to your loved ones. Just because we're quarantined and on lockdown doesn't mean you can't talk to the people you love. FaceTime, phone call, text message, none of that stuff stopped. Eventually, everything's gonna go back to normal and you are going to be so thankful to be able to take a normal trip to the store and go shopping. You just wait. So let's get into where the hell have I been? So you guys know um, last year we moved into this place out into the country and it was great. It was awesome. But being away from like the city and people and of course my family, my anxiety and depression got crazy like I was literally a hermit I would have to fight myself to get out of bed like it's I'm it's a nightmare if you struggle with anxiety and depression and like having panic attacks and stuff you know exactly what I mean so I definitely needed to sit down and like have a one-to-one -one with myself my heart my values just everything. I needed to reinstate my own confidence in my life because I am, I guess you could consider me a stay at home kind of gal, but we run a business. So I am all of the office phone calls, banking, accounts receivable. I am all of that. So I can do it from home. And Josh, weird, I don't know what happened. The sound like completely cut out. But what I was saying is Josh does all of the work out in the field. Yeah, and I do all the office stuff. <laughs> Bye. I spend a lot of time by myself. I don't have kids. I do have animals and they are my fur babies. And I would probably be dead without them. <laughs> you know, if you're a dog mom, you know exactly what I mean. So as I made the decision to be like, okay, because a lot of my depression was feeling like I wasn't good enough or that I was wasting like my whole life. And that is not a good feeling because no matter what you're doing in life, you're not wasting it because you are meant to be doing that. And I think I've been looking at myself in a not great way because you know how people tell you to like look in the mirror and tell yourself that you're beautiful you're amazing you're confident you're strong you're fearless and all that kind of stuff and eventually you'll believe it some of y'all might hate on me for this but just hear me out there's always that little part in your heart or your mind that doesn't believe it when you're saying it. And trust me, I've been that crazy woman screaming at myself in the mirror, not understanding why I'm not able to feel this way about myself, you know? So I really had to like adjust on my way of thinking. And that's really hard. But when you got nothing but time, honey, okay? And you're willing to dig deep and figure shit out, you can. 
So I was noticing that a lot of the issues weren't exactly, like I, I was technically causing the anxieties and stuff like that by the way I was treating my own self. So I started thinking about being grateful because I am every single day. I am so grateful for everything, family, my loved ones, my home, being able to eat food, having a warm meal every night, having a warm shower, having a bed to go to. I could go on and on and on. I am so grateful. So then why am I so hard on myself? Because it, it wouldn't be my life without me, right? So I started instead of constantly thinking about success and am I doing this right and oh my gosh like I I'm being wasteful of my life and the time that I'm given and all of that kind of stuff I started thinking about it in the sense that wow I am so grateful for everything I've been through and I'm still here and that has been way more successful for me because you know there's Everybody's been through a shit, you know, some people have been through shit, some people have been through shit, you know, but everybody goes through shit. I've been through a lot of shit and being grateful and always thinking about the things that I am grateful for, oh my gosh, has completely changed a lot for me and that's amazing like now I feel so much stronger like the little things that used to just like boom set me right off and I would go into like a dangerous downward plummet doesn't really you know I can kind of have way more of a control on things which is great so that's why the past few weeks or so I've really been thinking about getting back to it and starting to create content and because this is truly what does make me happy nonetheless I am so freaking happy to be sitting in front of the camera and yeah <laughs> so what can you guys be expecting in the well, near future? No, soon future <laughs> because hello, we're all on lockdown. So like I said, for the past few weeks, maybe a month, a month and a half, I've really been thinking about getting back into the groove of things and, you know, having more of like an upload schedule and hanging out with you. So I have definitely been feeling better, which means Yes, I've been shopping, I've been getting out, I've been doing stuff and talking to people, and then it was like all of a sudden, swerve, coronavirus happened, so now I can't really go out. So you guys are going to be my safety net, so I hope you don't mind, but before all of this stuff happened, I did a huge shopping trip at the West Edmonton Mall. So I am saving that stuff so I can do a haul for you guys. And when I did hear about like all of this, you know, the COVID-19 thing getting more severe, more severe, more severe, I went to Winners and Marshalls and got a ton of new makeup. So during this time, I can be doing my glam and I can be doing at home photo shoots and feeling yourself because that is what we all need to be doing in times like this. Trust me, if you guys want me to do like a more particular video on things that I'm doing to keep myself fly as fuck doing the quarantine, let me know down below. I also have an epic bougie on a budget, but I mean like when I say bougie on a budget and budget is in like you can save your coins and still be wiling out with all of the beautiful luxury pieces. I, I have been sitting on the majority of them and it's been 
killing me not to be able to use them. So my goodness, that might have to come before <laughs> I even do the West Edmonton Mall haul, but just know that there's gonna be a bunch of stuff coming and I can't wait. But I hope you guys are just as excited as I am for this brand new journey. If you're still watching, you bless you, okay? Bless your little heart. I absolutely love you. And you're the special one that gets to answer this question. Do you think that maybe because I am like a whole new person, like I'm still Amanda, but I feel like Amanda surprised the channel and like, you know, my whole Amanda surprise cluster just isn't me anymore. You know, like, I've done a lot, a lot of self work and self everything. <laughs> so please let me know if you think I should just start fresh because I kind of feel like that would be the best option anyways. So yeah, again, if you want me to do a, you know, tips or like what I'm doing to stay happy and fly during the whole quarantine thing. Let me know, I would love that. Maybe I'll just do it anyways, cause like, hello, we're living it right now. <laughs> anyways guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight. I, I have no idea how happy I am to be hanging out with you. I know I'm a broken record, but this is gonna be amazing guys. I hope you're along for the ride. I'll see you in my next video real soon. <laughs> Bye, guys.